What are you getting? Billion nut. Just like the fourth one today. <laughs> All across Southern Asia and the Pacific Islands, you'll see people chewing a big ball of something with red stains all over their teeth and spitting it on the ground. You just get a bit of a, a kick, a rush, a bit of sweat. It's called betel nut, or as the locals call it, why? I've seen people chew it in Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and Indonesia, but not even close to the level that I'm seeing here in Papua New Guinea. It's everywhere, and it's extremely addicting. It's just become this, it's just spread throughout our country. The locals on this island have a unique way of consuming it, with a mustard stick and a powder made of seashells and lime. And it has spread in recent years like wildfire. Boy is so dang popular that more than half of locals here chew it daily. From Hello everyone, my name is Dave and I'm from DK43 International class on Tokyo University with major visual communication and design. And on this video, I want to talk about Papuan people habit of chewing betel nut. And surely you are wondering what is betel nut. So, betel nut is the seed of the fruit of the areca palm. It is also known as areca nut or in Indonesia we call it Pinang. So I will discuss this activity of chewing betel nut because in my close family circle who come from Papua very often consume this food, especially like my aunt and even my cousin. So why people are um, chewing betel nut? Because the seed that make people who chew it is very addicted, even more than smoking and even almost uh, as same as drugs. So it's very highly addicted so the three recipe in this activity of the chewing areca nut are areca nut betel nut and also lime or lime betel that made from burnt shell but based on the research that i saw from my family back when the holiday of december last year they use it in a slightly different way namely by peeling the areca nut and then chewing it first then when it was smooth on their mouth they dip the beetle stick into the whiting or the chalk then they chew it until they feel the sensation that makes them satisfied and then the saliva from the rest of their chew they will throw away and leave a deep red mark like blood like in the street even in the wall or something so Based on Alcohol and Drug Foundation, this betel nut chewing is a cultural practice that is important cultural in some region in South and Southeast Asia and the Asian Pacific. It has traditionally played an important role in social customs, religious practice, and cultural ritual. Some people from this region who have settled in other countries have continued their cultural practice of chewing betel nut. So, the effect of the betel nut are not fully understood and further research is needed. However, people who have used the drug have reported the following effect like relax, feeling happy, feeling alert, high blood pressure, red face, sweating, and fast heart rate, and many more. But this activity actually have a negative side of health so the long term effect uh, of this activity regular heavy use of the betel nut may eventually cause discoloration of thick and gum mouth ulcer and gum disease oral cancer stomach ulcer heart disease and dependence on the betel nut and i also have experience in chewing a nut myself if you chew it for the first time, the taste you will feel is like a stringent and slightly sour and make your teeth feel very greedy. And sometimes, for some people, it will make them a little bit dizzy. So, I think chewing betel nut can make a bad impact for people who use it because it can cause addiction and from this addiction, it can cause disease from what I have mentioned before and also sometimes make a local resident restless because sometimes they spit that they throw carelessly and make the red mark like on the wall on the street which is very difficult to remove and it's literally very dirty 
especially in this pandemic it's really dangerous so in my opinion the tradition of chewing oreca nut it's okay but you can do it on your own portion thank you so much i'm Rabai, and stay safe and stay healthy bye